Coming up on Mountain News this morning, we are learning the names of those involved in a deadly shooting in Pulaski County. And Halloween is tomorrow, so we've got some basic safety tips for folks to follow while enjoying the festivities. Plus, the Hazard Stroke and Survivor and Caregiver Support Group partnered with Hazard ARH yesterday for World Stroke Day. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, it is 459. I'm Will Puckett. And I'm Madison Pergram. Well, thank you for tuning in to Mountain News this morning. Madison, you're fighting a little bit of a cold, and a lot of people can expect that this time of year. Yeah, because the changing of the weather mm -hmm. and... Yeah, but we'll yeah. get through it. Yes, she will get through it. She's been a trooper <laughs> all week. Let's bring in Brandon Robinson, who's healthy as a horse. But Brandon, <laughs> that might change for a lot of us after today. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be an interesting forecast in the next 48 hours. And I was talking to you all a little bit uh, off camera about it. But uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting, to say the least. Let's take a look and see what's going on right now across the region. Cloud cover and a little bit of moisture starting to stream in down to parts of southern Kentucky now. And that's going to be the case throughout the day. Visibility not as bad as it was yesterday, but still some spots with some dense fog, so be aware of that. Temperatures in the low to mid to upper 50s across the region. 53 Harlan, the cool spot. 57 Logan, Pikeville, and in Wise, some of the warmer spots, London too. Out the door forecast this morning starting at 7. Again, right there in the mid 50s for the most part. We'll get to about 67 or 68 later today, and those rain chances really ramp up as we head into the afternoon hours. We'll talk more about all of that and track the crazy forecast here in just a little bit. We'll all righty, Brandon, thank you. Well, new this morning, 12 people were shot at a home in Long Beach, California, Tuesday night. Three are dead and nine others taken to hospitals. Local police say two hooded suspects opened fire at a home near the intersection of 7th Street and Ohio Avenue. Initial reports from the scene said a Halloween party might have been taking place at the home. This is, of course, a developing story, and we will update you as we learn more on air and, of course, on our website at WYMT.com. And we are learning the names of those involved in a deadly shooting in Pulaski County on Sunday. Police say 30-year-old Donna L. Eldridge died as a result of the shooting at a home in Eubank. The other shooting victim is Bobby Edgar Eldridge. Bobby remains at UK Hospital. We do not know his condition at this time. Right now, police are not saying who shot whom or what led up to the shooting. Well, a woman in Knox County is behind bars after police say she was driving under the influence at an elementary school. This is 27 year old Lena Faye Hodge of Flat Lick. A school resource officer says he saw Hodge pull into Flat Lick Elementary and get out of the car with two children. The officer says he determined Hodge was under the influence. She was charged with DUI and four counts of second degree wanton endangerment after the officer found two more smaller kids in the car. And more than 18,000 people have signed a petition on change.org to close McCammy Manor in Tennessee. The manor is advertised as an extreme haunted attraction, but many describe it as a torture house. The owner, Russ McCammy, says he finds the change.org petition humorous and that he is not doing anything illegal. He adds that there are more than 27,000 people on a waiting list to take the challenge for the $20,000 prize, and nobody has completed it so far. McCammy screams each participant personally and if accepted there is a long list of rules which include watching a two hour long video signing a 40 page waiver and passing a physical Halloween is tomorrow here are some basic safety tips you should follow as usual do not consume candy that looks like it has been tampered with travel in groups but most importantly watch out for cars the National Safety Council says children are twice as likely to get hit by a car on Halloween than on any other day of the year. Officers with the Hazard Police Department also have some advice to avoid being part of that grim statistic. I'll make sure that they've either got reflective tape, um, glow sticks, flashlights, something like that to illuminate themselves as they're walking, uh, you know, when it gets dark. Officer Miller also adds to use extra caution in case of rain. And with that likelihood of rain and nasty conditions in the forecast, many cities and counties are moving their trick-or-treat dates to other days this week. You can find the latest list of trick-or-treat dates on our website at WYMT.com. We plan to continuously update the list as more cities and counties make decisions. 
State police in Harlan County need the public's help tracking down a burglar. Troopers say someone forced their way into a home on Highway 38 in the Everts community. The homeowner was out of town for a couple of weeks, and when he came back, he found his gun safe and several guns stolen. Police believe the burglar broke in through the garage sometime in the early part of this month. If you have any information, contact Kentucky State Police Post 10 at 606-573-3131. Well, from blacksmithing to making guitars, Cultural Recovery in Hindman is helping those who are facing or have faced drug addiction. The program is part of the Hindman Artisan Center. In two days a week, people struggling with addiction come out to work on hands-on projects. They say it helps them stay busy and involved in the community. Keeps you occupied and keeps your keeps your mind something healthy to do. And um, I've kind of always been a tomboy and um, work on things, so um, I thought I would like this program. The program pairs with Hickory Hill Recovery Center and Knott County's Drug Court program. They meet every Tuesday and Wednesday. Yesterday, New Hope Christian Center in Hazard had a clothing giveaway, but clothes were not the only treasures you could find. Shoes, blankets, and toys were all up for grabs. Rayanne Barnett says this is a blessing to be able to do this for the community, thanks to their partners in missions. A group of missionaries that came down last year to Twin Rocks Bible Camp, and they fell in love with the area, and they have since been um, collecting things and sending us stuff. People can come and get a bag. As long as it can tie, they'll be able to get three bags plus a blanket as long as it lasts. Barnett says they hope to do this again before the Christmas season. And yesterday, the Hazard Stroke and Survivor and Care Caregiver Support Group partnered with Hazard ARH for World Stroke Day, reminding the community that anyone can have a stroke. They provided stroke screenings and information about how to catch these symptoms. Not knowing what to do after can cause more problems in the future, but having someone there that has been through it helps. It's important for the stroke survivors, not only them, but for the caregivers to see and be around other people who are going through the exact same thing they are because those of us who have not had a stroke don't understand what they're going through. Everybody's in the same, same boat. And if you've accomplished something, if you've done better, if they've done better, it gives you a chance to discuss that. The support group is for anyone in surrounding counties. They meet the fourth Wednesday of every month in Hazard. Well, thank you for getting your day started with us right here on Mountain News this morning. More news is on the way. In the spirit of Halloween, folks in one Kentucky city got to take part in a positively adorable costume contest. We have a lot to talk about when it comes to the forecast to wrap up October. I'll get you caught up on the roller coaster ride in about three minutes.